Hey guys, so quick little pre-intro, I wanted to let you guys know that this was filmed at the start of January and it took me the whole freaking month to get it out because it was a hour long video of me just talking. I worked really hard editing this for you guys, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I apologize that it's out so late and that I took a couple weeks off of YouTube. It was just, it was a new year. We were starting back with school and sports and stuff and it was a lot for me. So I just slowly took my time with this video, but hopefully for now on, I will be posting a video every week. So yeah, enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's me, Brian here. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So for this video, I'm just going to be sitting down and talking with you guys about it being the new year. It is now 2021. It's a fresh start. I'm just going to be talking about my resolutions, things I'm looking forward to in the new year, and also a little recap of 2020. So first, let's talk about 2020. I'm sure you guys are so sick of hearing about it because this year is definitely going to go down in history. Although it was a hard year for many, 2020 was not a horrible year for me. Uh, 2019 was a hard one. So going into 2020, I was just so excited to be over with that year. I grew a lot in 2020. I learned a lot of lessons. Change is okay. Sometimes you have to let go of things, people that aren't right for you, and it's not easy. Sometimes good memories turn into bad ones in my mind because I'll be like, hey, that was such an awesome time in my life. I wish I could go back to that. When really I've learned that change is okay. I started new things, I ended old things, and it was just crazy. Things aren't always going to be the same, and just because an amazing chapter has ended, an amazing one can start too. Some highlights of my year. Basically, number one is just hanging out with my friends and meeting new people and being social. I definitely learned I'm a very social person. I do like my alone time, do not get me wrong. My room is my happy place and me being alone in this room is one of my favorite things to do, but I love hanging out with my friends. Growing out of certain friendships and starting new ones or having fallouts with certain friends and stuff like that, like that's okay. It's like the hardest thing and it seems like the end of the world. Things are gonna change. You're growing up, so like you're not gonna have the same friends forever. If you are supposed to be friends, you will be friends again. God has a plan and everything happens for a reason and everything will fall into place. Another huge thing I did in 2020, before the pandemic started, it was early March, I went to Dominican with my best friend Jenna. I didn't have my YouTube channel yet, but really wish I did because imagine the vlogs that would have came out of that. It was beautiful, it was an amazing experience, and I'm so glad I got to experience it with her. Uh, we had the best time. And actually, crazy story guys, we left Dominican right when Corona went crazy. I actually knew some people that were going on trips and had to leave early. I remember being in the airport, a bunch of people wearing masks, but we didn't have them yet because we just like had no clue what was going on. So it was like this whole big thing and like it was terrifying. It was something any of my family members have ever experienced before. I just remember being so scared that we weren't going to make it home, that we were going to catch Corona. Like it was insane. Thank God we got to experience our whole trip without masks, without social distancing because it wasn't in Dominican yet but the day we were flying home all my friends back home got to leave school early um and only thought it was gonna be two weeks well that turned into months and months and months the coronavirus hit our world insane I can't even believe that that happened I can't believe I was actually alive for something this big to happen like you know you always hear stories about like huge thing that's happened in the past when you're like your parents or your grandparents have gone through and lived through but now we're living through something that is going to be taught in schools and that is insane so yeah quarantine was awesome actually because i feel like it was a nice little time just to reflect spend time with my family and i also did have online school starting i think it was like late april or so and at first it was hard to adjust to but i could facetime my friends whenever i wanted we didn't have zoom at that time whereas if we went back into online school right now we would have zoom i remember like doing my work whatever time of the day i wanted to it was honestly like really like nice because none of our grades actually counted you kind of just did the work i also had online dance classes it started with youtube videos that they would put out but they 
then it transitioned into Zoom classes. And so I was pretty active. I had lots to do during quarantine, whereas a lot of people were bored. I felt very content and happy. There was like this thing introduced pretty early in the quarantine called Bubble Families. And my Bubble Family was my best friend, Julie. You guys have seen her in many, many vlogs. Uh, we spent majority of quarantine having sleepovers because we were quarantined together. That brought us so much closer. And I went on bike rides and walks a lot. And then I also live on a lake. So once May rolled around, we were swimming in the lake. I started seeing everybody again. It was so, so nice. I had a really fun summer with all my friends. In 2020, I started my YouTube channel. I know I don't have many subscribers, but I work really hard to put out a video once a week. And I am just so passionate about it. It's something I love to do. So I just want to thank you guys who stuck around for watching my videos and supporting me. Most of you guys are definitely my friends but we're still growing. Another thing, I started a new sport. I've been dancing my whole entire life since I was like three and it's just been a huge part of my life forever. But this year I decided to quit jazz, modern and tap and just do ballet to pursue basketball. This summer I went to a campground a lot with some of my friends and met so many new people. We would go there and we would play basketball till nine o'clock in the morning to nine o'clock at night. It was so much fun. I learned a lot horrible at it so i jumped right into it and i'm really proud of myself for doing this because I'm not trying to be that girl but like being that girl i have anxiety and starting new things is super hard for someone with anxiety i'm sure if you guys have it you can relate this was a huge step for me i tried it and i'm doing it right now and i love it i actually have a practice later tonight i've never played a sport before but i'm so glad i joined basketball met some amazing people and it's a great sport i also finished my picture wall I love it so much. I've been working on it since August of 2019 and my resolution for 2020 was to finish it. And I finished it on December 31st of 2020, literally New Year's Eve. It has everybody I love on it, except actually I don't have a lot of my family members on it, which I need to change. Um, I will let you guys know that I will be exchanging some old pictures here and there, just like to keep it updated with my life. Um, But it has every phase I went through. As you guys can see here, these are all like real life pictures and then these are my visco girl phase okay and then these are like quarantine and then those are like really colorful and like happy because those are all summer where those were quarantines so they're kind of dark and they're like pinterest pictures and then these are just pictures from my grade eight year so far um and also pinterest pictures of course you get the jizz 2020 was amazing yeah we're going to school full time in person, uh, but we have to wear masks all day, social distance. I still go to ballet class and I still go to basketball. So things are kind of like getting better, but there was a point in like early December where everything shut down except school and you literally couldn't do anything except go to school, which was a really depressing part in my life because ballet and basketball are the two things that make me happy. So only having school got me in a really dark place and I was just like having a lot of anxiety at that point. The whole month of December, I literally was just like waiting for break to happen and when it happened god did i need that man it's coming to an end i go back to school not tomorrow but the next day and i'm terrified but i'm super excited because it's a new year a new start school was really hard in december work wise just like my own stress wise you know there's just there's always going to be something going on with drama like i can speak for every teenager right now we are all just trying to figure it out and get by now going on to my 2021 resolutions it's a new year i'm so so excited for a fresh start number one is to just work on myself i want to make sure i keep my mental health in its best state i want to make sure i really try hard in school this year and put in all my effort i want to make sure i remain my love of ballet and work really really hard in basketball i want to really try to gang some friendships and just meet new people you only live once so truly just do what you want to do i also want to continue uploading a video once a week for you guys another thing is i want to be doing a workout every time i don't have dance or basketball so i have dance on tuesdays and thursdays and i also have basketball two other times out of the week on the days i don't have anything i would like to do a chloe ting ab workout it's like my favorite one i've been doing it all of quarantine it really works i want to 
This is so cliche of me to say, but eat healthy. I know everybody says this when they go into a new year, but I want to eat healthy, but also give myself a break sometimes and not be so strict over what I eat. Also, I am vamping into a new style. I have always admired people who could just be very creative with their style and wear things that not everybody would be wearing. And I always wanted to, but confidence, money, huge big factors. I got like lots of money from family members. That's what I asked for because I wanted to like buy new clothes. So thank you so much to all the family members. But um, yeah, I'm so happy with it and I'm just experimenting. I'm sure years from now, I'm gonna look back at the pictures of me wearing these outfits and be like, what was she thinking? Those are hideous, but for right now, they're something that I'm so happy in. I have many other like little resolutions that I want to do in 2021 like just you know make a bunch of memories and stop dwelling on the past and learn self-love and you know I'm getting better with self-love definitely but you know it's a journey and it's not gonna happen overnight and I feel like a lot of us have to grow with that. There's a lot of things I want to start getting into like different shows, different styles, all that kind of stuff, different music. I don't really like New Year's resolutions because they kind of put a lot of pressure on the person that's setting them. I put a lot of pressure on myself like it's a new year so I have to like make sure every day of this year counts and it's like you're gonna have bad days. If you're not feeling the greatest mentally, physically, and you're going into the new year like that, that is okay. Every week can be a fresh start. Every day can be a fresh start. But like, yeah, like I literally spent New Year's Eve with my mom and my dad. Like we literally watched this random movie in my living room and I was in the dumps about that for a while, but then I was like, you know what? I spent it with literally the two most important people in my life and then my brother was in his gaming room, so like, Cool. Actually, the night before, we did have a little mini get together with Julie and her family for an early New Year's Eve, and that was really fun. We had fireworks, good food, all that kind of stuff. So, overall, I'm really grateful for 2020. I became a teenager in that year, which is insane. I'm glad it happened, but glad it's over, if I'm being honest, as I think most are. And I'm super duper excited to go into the new year with you guys, with all of my friends and family, and I'm excited to get back into the routine. So, Thank you all so, so much for watching. I love you all so much. Give this video a like. It would really help me out and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.